Right on the magic school bus. You were not saying wheels on the bus. In West Virginia, so born and raised. Old raised, kind of, yeah. On the playground. It's where I got most of my concussions. <laughs> Actually, all. Teen TBI talks. There you go. So then that makes it a series. Boom. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Intro done. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Lauren. And we are the, the Narrow Nerds. Yes, that was on time. I feel pretty good. On, <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. Welcome to the Neuro Nerds. Hey guys. As I say always, this is a very special episode because every episode is special. I was going to say, every episode I think says this is a special episode. We have a couple of amazing guests to yes, start do. off our series, future ongoing series, Teen TBI Talk. Yes, because you there know There should what? be like a little ding right there, right? <laughs> well, yes, because you had an idea. Uh, <laughs> poor Joe. Lauren's so mean to Joe. But- yeah, yeah, Lauren. Don't be mean to me just because this is more Lauren-centric episode because we're going to be talking about concussions. Yes, because we're- honestly, we've been talking a lot about your stroke, so I'm feeling very unloved. Yeah, I know you guys were bored out there <laughs> hearing about how I almost died and now I lived and now I'm kind of killing it. I-, I get it. All right, let's let's-, <laughs> let's just make you a lifetime movie about your life and move on. I'm all right with that as so long as George Clooney plays me because, you know, we look exactly alike. It's uncanny. It's uncanny. So, I'm surprised you haven't gone into how he touched your butt that one time. Oh, now that you <laughs> mentioned it, there was that one time that George Clooney touched my butt. We don't have time. <laughs> so today we have in an actual studio studio. I know, right? We, we have uh, Darius, young teenage concussion survivor, and Darius's mother, Kayla Hilton. <laughs> Kayla Hilton. <laughs> I don't know your last name. I was going to say, Kayla Hilton of the Hella Real Show. That's right. Yeah, we're getting Hella Real up in this piece Mm -hmm. talking about concussions. Yes. So, Kayla, tell us a little bit about your podcast. So, it's a YouTube show. Um, Oh, sorry. Lauren obviously did not learn anything before we started. Have you seen this face? It was not meant for video. That is mean, first of all. (laughs) I'll talk about me. Oh. Talk about me. I'll talk about I would not say that in front of Lauren. I would, yeah. I thought you said she could like kill with her bare hands and watch herself. Yeah, yeah. So that just happened. (laughs) Vulcan death grip. Yes, I just saw that. I'm worried for you now. (laughs) Yes, yes. This is just this isn't even about teen TBI talk. This is a cry for help. (laughs) I can't help you, but so Kayla, what is your YouTube show about? Uh, it's called Hello Real because we are Bay centric, Bay Area, California. Uh, go for it, the whip. Um, um, and we are all girls, and sometimes we have guys, but we talk about trending topics. We talk about dating. We talk about um, politics sometimes if it's really needed. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have guests. We have musicians. We have um, business owners, like whoever we can get to kind of highlight, show the community, our viewers about. So check us out. YouTube.com slash hello real. Yeah. We'll make sure to include a link in the information for this episode, guys. You so, hella right. We're going to do okay. that. Yeah. Now, this again, via hella hellas. Oh, God. <laughs> now, do you guys get into the discussion sometimes of hella versus hecka? Oh, no. Stop. No. <laughs> Please don't say that you acknowledge the word hecka. To me, if it's it's like a little kid thing. Yeah, I, 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 that that yeah. was some kid, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. say hecka. Yep. Um, so I'm a grown ass man. I'm saying hella. <laughs> hella. Yeah. I remember that was something like I think it was elementary school. It yeah. Is, yeah. Is, well, some similar. of us weren't even allowed to say heck or hecka growing up. So some people aren't allowed to say gosh. That is true. Oh my god, I wasn't allowed to suck my teeth. I would get hit. Like I would get hit hard. Yeah. I, I you, wasn't to talk out your neck. <laughs> oh girl, yeah, neck roll. <laughs> so Darius, are you allowed to? <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's you, allowed to you say hello. Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to curse, but you know, come on, you could do it right here. Stop live. corrupting mm-hmm. the child. You're going Little Wayne status. You don't, cuss, <laughs> you don't cuss on the mic till you're 18. Yes, that's, I like that. That's a classy young man right there. Classy <laughs> young man. That's a good rule of thumb. So, so Darius, t- tell us about your concussion. So, this isn't a concussion. This is concussions. It's like a series. It's a trilogy. It's a series. Yeah, we're doing the Teen TBI talk as a series. You've had a series of concussions. Yeah. Um, I've had three so oh, far, God. and then uh, how old are you? Fourteen. You had three. Come on, three too many. They're all pretty. When I was pretty young. Pretty, so. You're, so what is what <laughs> is pretty, pretty young? young. Oh, like nine, like on the playground, and me just trying to impress people and being dumb. So the lesson here is don't try to impress people. Yes. 
life lesson, y'all. So how did you get your first concussion? You said you were about nine? Uh, I don't know, like eight, nine, around that age, fifth grade. Let's confirm with mom. Yeah. Is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. How'd you get it? Uh, I'm waiting for some fantastical story, like flying over the monkey bars and like landing somewhere. I was uh, on the playground and I did a back or a flip, a flip, a flip off the structure. And then with me celebrating, I was swinging on the ladder. And then when I swung, it hit my head into a pole. Oh. So he landed the flip, y'all. Okay, so he landed the flip. <laughs> Bravo on that. You know, as every coach would tell you, celebrate like you've been there before. Yeah, that's a good right? point. And all I could think about, you're like, you're like, oh yeah, I'm doing backflips off the monkey bar or whatever. And I'm like, oh, he could be in the aerial world. Like, let's go take you to Cirque du Soleil. And then you said you fell and hit your head on a pole. And I'm like, Sorry, you can't be in the aerial world anymore. <laughs> it was in celebration of yes. landing the flip. Yeah. <laughs> but I was looking at a female. You know of what? Of course. Did she smile before you hit your head, though? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this this story's starting to make a lot more sense, isn't it? <laughs> that little tramp. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. That, that little hussy. Yes. I, well, I can't call a nine-year-old anything else. Yes. I, I, I absolutely can. No, you no? will not. No, no, no. I, Lauren I, I will won't. beat you. I won't. If you enjoy listening to this podcast, please consider leaving us a five-star review on the Apple Podcast app. Your reviews help us grow and reach more listeners like you. Find us by searching for the Neuro Nerds on the Apple Podcast app today. So tell us a little bit about what happened because I got my concussion at, oh God, how old am I? Uh, 26? I think I was 20. You're not 26. No, I'm not. Shut up. I think I had my concussion at 26. So my experience was a little bit different than no doubt Yours was, yeah. if you can even remember that. I mean, yeah, honestly, wait, yeah. yeah that, do you remember? Do you remember like it happening, like the whole um, um, experience? Uh, yeah, I remember, but I don't remember like the flip thing. But I just remember like just swinging mm-hmm. and then like seeing the pole, like face. You're like, oh shit, that's a little close. <laughs> yeah, and then like waking up on the ground, just like, you were like, out. Tan bark on my body. Yeah, I was all, and then like teachers and kids. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I like how he remembers the bark detail. Right. Well, it hurt. I was just laying down in wood chips, and I was like, ah, but. Um. Yeah, it was like a bunch of teachers, and then my mom came pick me up. And did she yell at you? Be honest. Was she like, "What are you doing?" I honestly, no, I, I did know. not. I mean, the teachers called me and told me like he was out, out. knocked out. Yeah, he was knocked out. Was did out. you take him immediately to the doctor? Yes, I did. And they did the concussion test, mm-hmm. and they asked him to walk a straight line. It was a squiggly line, mm-hmm. and then they told him to reach his arm all the way out to the right, mm-hmm. his right hand all the way out to the right, and then touch his nose. And then he went past his ear, like he didn't even touch yep. his body. Wow! So they were, that's when they were worried, and they had him take a CT. Yeah, what part of the side of the head did he hit? Do you know? I think it was. Uh, oh, right on. directly. Front, oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Pole, that was, he said he saw the pole. Yeah, and yeah there you go. The you got friendly saw. with the pole. Yeah. Wow. And then um, did you end up throwing up or were you dizzy? No balance? What? Well, it was just like I was kind of in and out of the whole like experience. Yeah. So it was just like I felt nausea a lot. But I was just like. I feel like I would, like, it feels like I was going to sleep and waking me up. Wow. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, 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 that sounds familiar. That's not, that's not good. Did that happen to you? Uh, similar, but not, well, you know, Lauren didn't go to the doctor for four days. Oh, because, yeah, yeah. Don't be like Lauren. Yeah. Who went to teach dance that next day and got, went upside down? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, scary. I was in a car accident and I hit the back of my head from, because someone hit me from behind and I had a hair clip on, hit the back of my head. Ooh. Um, I was a real estate agent at the time, so I was going to an open house. So one, the guy who hit me was a douchebag, right? He was a jerk. Yeah, jerk. Yeah, he was. Like, no, he was like yelling at me, like I, like it was my fault. I could, I forgot how to change if he lanes. Hit you from the back. It's his yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. How, how dare you allow yeah. me to hit you with my yeah. car? Um, but I remember, um, according to my doctor, I had every symptom of a concussion except for loss of consciousness and memory, um, because I remember the the guy hitting me, but I also. Um, like I was completely disoriented. Time mm-hmm. slowed down. Like right mm-hmm. after. Did you experience that? Uh, I was out. So yeah, you, I didn't. Actually, you felt the in and out. Yeah, I didn't lose consciousness, which is good. But again, I didn't go directly to the doctor because I'd had I've been in the multiple car accidents before, but none of them are my fault, which is like good but not good. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I immediately went straight to work. I had my friends and my mom were like, "You should come home," and I'm like, "No, I have to go to this open house." Um, and you know, then I'll come home after. And I remember I was 
at the open house um, playing Baldur's Gate. Um, <laughs> I had my laptop. And so sometimes at open houses, you're just sitting there. So I have my video games. So I was playing Baldur's Gate, um, which also isn't really good to immediately do something that is a big right, stimulant. Right. Um, but I remember like when customers or clients would come in, I could immediately turn it on, right? Like I could be like, this is the house, blah, blah, blah. But I remember I was standing in my high heels and like completely off balance, wobbly. like wobbly off balance. And then I remember it was getting bad where I was trying to show someone the second story of the home. I couldn't climb the stairs. Yeah. Like I was holding onto the balustrade and I was like, okay, guys, just go ahead and look. Um, I'm going to be down here. I got to take care of uh, some paperwork and then come back down. But I remember like one, as a real estate agent, I'm supposed to kind of go with the client, right. but I was, I couldn't climb the stairs. And so, um, you know, this should have been like, hey, maybe something more than whiplash. Right. right. No. So then the next day, I, I think I rested. And then the next day, I taught pole. And so, like, I was going upside down because, you know, I'm a retard sometimes. <laughs> um, you know, who takes care of themselves? And then the next day is when I was teaching belly dance. I lost central vision. Oh. Um, I babbled. Um, for about 10 seconds, which is terrifying. I don't know if you ever babbled, but that's where it's like beyond being a young boy, but babbling, but like, <laughs> you know, where literally your tongue keeps going and you have no idea what you're saying. That's oh, crazy. Wow. Um, no control. Um, I had numbness in my tongue and one of my fingers on the left side. And then I had the most excruciating migraine or headache I've ever had in my entire life, even to this day. I felt like someone took a pickaxe and just slammed it into my temples while I was driving home. I was driving oh, 80 no. miles an hour because I was just wanted to get home. I should have pulled yeah, over yeah. and called my parents to come pick me up. Yeah. That, but that I just wanted to get home. like the best idea. Yep. And Hindsight's I have. Hindsight's 2020. It right? Is. It is. It is. Um, I mean, I have a pretty good tolerance for pain, um, but I was shrieking in pain. I have never screamed in pain in my entire life. And then as soon as I got home, I threw up. So mm -hmm. I knew I was like, okay, that's not a good sign. Right. Went to the doctor the next day. I told him all this. He goes, so you have every classic sign except for the loss of consciousness. Yeah. And so I had to get my CAT scan. And then he's like, well, not a brain bleed that's, because the babbling good. and the numbness. Right. He's mm -hmm. like, it could be a minor brain bleed. So that was a good thing. Right. Um, the CAT scan didn't show any bleeding. But so that was me through all the symptoms. I didn't have the in and out of consciousness. Mm -hmm. um, but for you, what else did you experience in like, how did you feel, especially for you, Kayla, mm -hmm. when the doctor's like, he has a serious concussion? Well, for me, I was just, you know, afraid. And then, you know, they had him get in the, in the CT and then it's like this crazy looking thing and he's mm -hmm. little. Yeah. So, you know, I tried to like comfort him like, oh, it's like a spaceship or whatever. Spaceship. Um, and he seemed okay. Were you okay in there? Do you remember yeah, it? It was just like, I just kind of got bored. It wasn't like. Because you're in there for a long time. Yeah, as you can yeah. tell by his voice, Darius, pretty cool kid. Yeah, <laughs> cool customer here, right? Chill guy. The wonder of youth. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, nothing yeah. really freaked you out? I, I was like, just, I don't really like being like super close like spots. But right. like, to me, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm not too scared on it. But then I'm not like, it doesn't bother me at all. Right. Did you notice your mom was freaking out or, uh, at all? I was in the the machine oh okay see anything i, we like freaking I out, mean freaking I, out? no she was I mean, trying to stay calm for him that i was freaking. i mean That's i was good. more just like anxious about what are the results going to be because right you know i knew that he was messed up because obviously he lost consciousness he couldn't walk a straight line he yeah. couldn't touch his nose which is something like, was, was wrong yeah that's right which is so i was just worried about what are the results going to be and i was just kind of you know hoping for the best and that you know there isn't a brain bleed yeah. like you say and that um you know, it was going to be okay. I would, or to find out what the next steps were going to yeah. be. So for those of you out here who don't have a concussion, um, there's not a test out there that can really show if you have a concussion or not. Um, if you, they can check with an MRI, but all, the only way it helps you is if you have a scan of your brain pre-injury mm -hmm. and then they can show the difference post-injury. So it doesn't, there's no, everyone's like, well, isn't there a way that you can just like take a scan of your brain and they can tell you where the injury is and blah, blah, blah. Right. Not really, unless there's a scan pre-injury so to, to compare it to. So we should all just go get brain scans. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. No, the um, brain scan party is going to be so much fun. <laughs> but for, for doctors, when they prescribe CT scans, that's usually to see if there's any sort of brain bleed because that'll show 
even mm-hmm. an old bleed will show um, mm-hmm. there if you catch it soon enough. Right. Which um, is the same day. It's, it's the same day. Or, well, me, I had a few days later. They were like, oh, we'll still see. Okay. Um, doctors don't like to over, pres- well, most doctors don't like to over prescribe CT scans because of the amount of radiation. Yeah, they, they only like to over prescribe drugs. Exactly, right? <laughs> Antibiotics, sure. Yeah, yeah, radiation, those. no. Yeah. Um, Opioids, but, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we only have a crisis. Um, but, <laughs> That's one thing to keep in mind that when you have a concussion, it's oftentimes very difficult to diagnose other than asking for symptoms. So a lot of times those of us with concussions can sometimes, as we've discussed before, feel imposter syndrome because we're like, well, we don't like if you have a stroke. You can have a test to confirm it, right? I Joseph, also have a big hole in well, my head. So, too. I mean, that's there's that. I mean, and then you got to deal with Joe. <laughs> but like for those of us with concussions, sometimes our brains are even not even meaner to us and tell us, well, it's, we're, we didn't really have it. And the concu- the symptoms can be explained away by something else. By something else, which is ridiculous. You know? Concussion survivors. Yeah, I know. It's a brain injury. Yeah, it's a I brain mean, injury. A brain injury is a brain injury. It's just not injury. as sexy as saying you had a stroke. That's very you true. <laughs> I say this all the time. There's nothing sexier about me than my stroke. <laughs> That's why I keep my woman. Oh, God. And Fel is rolling her eyes. I love it. Thank you to our amazing community on Patreon for supporting this podcast. You can support us too and get different perks and gifts depending on which Neuro Jedi tier you sign up for. For example, if you're on our Neuro Padawan $5 tier, then you're probably listening to this episode a day early before it's public release. Your support helps us grow and continue to create this podcast. Plus, a portion of the proceeds go to a different cause or individual in the brain injury survivor community each month. Sign up at patreon.com slash the neuro nerds. So how did you, how did your recovery go? Like, what did you, did you have to change anything? Did you have the 24 hour headache? No, no. So here, here's the thing. Yes. That was concussion number one. True. But that was the worst one, right? That was the worst one. Yeah. So what, what did you find? How, did you have to change or did you have to do anything different in your daily life? Did you take time off of school? Uh, I don't remember. Cause you know, it was like, what I said, it was like, well, when I was younger, so. I feel like when you're younger, high, like high events that mm-hmm. you experience, those are the ones you remember. Mm-hmm. Right? The, the semi day or the days that went by, I didn't really like pay attention to. I mm-hmm. was just like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah. But uh, personally, no, I don't think anything was like that different to mm-hmm. me. But uh, I did notice like recently, or like not recently, but like I've been noticing like when I walk sometimes, like I get a little like, like I stumble a little bit. Like a loss of balance. Yeah. And it's just like, like I'll be walking a straight line, then I like curve off and then like go back. And it's just like I want to say that's for my concussion, but I don't really know. Is that happening still now? Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing that kind of sucks is like everyone's brain is so different and mm-hmm. it's uh neuroscience is such in its infancy and it's so still um very individual, the way the right. brain heals and the and the symptoms and what everyone goes through, is that there's sometimes when you're like, oh, this issue is happening. And you're like, well, I can explain it away with something else. But at the same time, you're always like, but could it be tied to my brain injury? Right. right. Because a lot of people don't know and doctors don't always tell you. And so I want to know if the doctor told you about this. They Kayla. didn't say anything. Really? Of it course was, not. It was pretty much they did the scan and they were like, well, there's some know, Motrin. He, he, yeah, basically they were like, it's not. Um, a we don't bleed. need to do anything else. And you're like, basically, like, he's fine. That's awful. And just they said, you know, be aware and don't let him like get another one within the next six months. This is true. Yeah. Because you can die from it. Yeah. Did they tell you that? No. Oh, so (laughs) (laughs) real take here. Um, Yeah. 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 Uh, Lauren El Manzano, mother of concussions. Yeah. Um, (laughs) So my little brother. So my brother and I were martial artists. Mm -hmm. We're champion fighters and stuff. So my brother was at the Junior Olympics. And he got knocked out the last 10 seconds of the fight. He was winning because he was dumb and he charged in. Um, But he got knocked out by a spin kick to the back of the head. I call it the reset button, which is like that little, that little knob right under, like at the back of your skull. Please don't knock me out. No, I won't. So he got knocked out (laughs) and he like face planted. Right. So he came and he lost consciousness, stuff like that. He came around, like they woke him up, but he was so not there, like. My one of the Taekwondo masters was holding my brother on his lap because he couldn't sit sit in a chair while the head referee and organizer of the tournament was talking to my parents about their options because Eugene could finish the fight or he could bow out. Um, they weren't going to disqualify the kid because it was an accidental kick. Right. And it was very clear it was because my brother fucking charged into the damn mm-hmm. fight the way he did. But my brother, this is how good our conditioning is growing up as kids. My master was asking him, do you want to fight? My brother's like, yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. answering yes, sir, to everything. Course, because, course. But he didn't. He was, he was not really. Conscious. Yeah. Um, but what had happened was the organizer came to my parents and said, look, or the head referee, she's like, we've seen this before. And we have seen kids get, get knocked out and then come back into the ring thinking they're okay and get another hit to the head and not even a hard hit, but another right. hit. And they've died. You're very susceptible to a secondary concussion or yeah. like a worse yes. brain injury. Yeah. You in particular, too, because you were so young, your brain exactly. is still developing. Right. So the fact that you had a concussion at such a young age, that's crazy alone. The fact that you had two more. So when when was the second one? When was your second concussion? I don't really m- remember, but I know it was like semi close, like mm-hmm. maybe like a year later. Okay. Like it wasn't six months. Was right. How did you get it? Uh, I think another girl. Okay. <laughs> I think I, I like I think I just like fell or hit he my head. Was running and flipped on like somebody had dropped some food on the ground. Okay. It's literally like Mario. It was a banana, banana peel. peel. That's hilarious. Uh, but I think it was actually like a sandwich or something. I remember you were like, it was lettuce, mom. <laughs> so so basically, like, so basically your your life is like a cartoon. Yeah, you're like what it sounds tunes. like. Yeah. I hit my head ding, in a hole and then I slip <laughs> on lettuce. Yeah. That's and crazy. then that's also the first time I broke my Oh, oh God, I'm sure yeah. like trying to brace for the fall. Yep. Yeah. That'll He's... do it. And, and that was my brain. The other wrist. Of course he the, did. Uh, the, the same time. Yeah. So because he, he was like wrist. overcompensate. Yep. No, he had one broken one sprain because he was trying to oh. overcompensate with the other hand. And then so he, he overworked it. it. Right. So. So, but the doctors never had a conversation with you guys. I'm like, this is, here are some symptoms, uh, like some things that could happen as you go healing through the, the physical stuff, like the headaches, and the migraines, sensitivity don't read, don't write too much. Yeah. And then they didn't no. tell you like, hey, five, six months later, this is when post-concussion sits, sits in and it's psychological issues like depression, anxiety, yeah. suicidal thoughts, mood changes, no. all that. See, See that see, sucks. Yep. That sucks. But I mean, like it's becoming a, 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 a more normal conversation, unfortunately, yeah. but it's good. It's fortunate and unfortunate that like we're having these conversations more often. So like people understand. It's, it's a healing this process. This is a process. The stuff that happened right. to Lauren, she experienced things that she had never experienced in her life. I never had anxiety until this. Like I, I was one of those well-adjusted teenagers. Well, I was a weird teenager. But <laughs> I never had anxiety growing up my entire life until the car accident. And then I had anxiety attacks and panic attacks. And I mm-hmm. still have it sometimes. Oh, yeah, you said well-adjusted. I was like, oh. No. You, then, you that, came from a two-parent household. And, that, <laughs> and then I... And Congratulations. Then I, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate me because you ain't me. Right? <laughs> um, but no, it, it's unfortunate that a lot of doctors aren't equipped yeah. to... Right, and we're going to yeah. the urgent care. So who knows um, that's how even many worse. different, you know, things that those people are dealing with. Yeah. Right? You know, it's basically like an emergency room. So they're yeah. just seeing ev- any and everything. Yeah, so like, they're, like, they're not specialized. Yeah, their job is to get you well enough to get out of their office. Right. Basically, yeah. you know? To stabilize you. Yes. Yeah. Basically. Yes. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. So, and then, okay, so now you're third. <laughs> How'd that happen? And when? I'm, uh, I'm assuming a big boulder with the word acne on the side fell on your head. An anvil. No? <laughs> right? And then, the, and then there's the roadrunner going yeah. by. Beep, beep. <laughs> They missed miss the coyote and it hit you. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Looney Tunes? Looney, yeah. oh, oh, okay, God. good. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so happy. Parent. Yes, I am thank so you. happy. This you were doing all 100% right. Kayla. Oh, thank God. you. Kayla, oh. you hella dope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You a good mom right there. Good mama. <laughs> Ow. So, Darius, how did that happen? Personally, how did that happen? I was going to say, Mama, how did it happen? it was uh, uh, football, right? No, because I like I feel like all my sports. No, I you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because all his injuries have been off the field. Off the, like, same sport yeah, related, same. just not during the sport. I feel like it was because it was like as minor, but I think um, the third one is what caused all of the psychological symptoms that right. you're referring to. Yeah, I think I did fall off like a slide or something. Mm. Hey, I did that and I broke my elbow falling off a slide. Oh, oh, like, I think I landed on my. head. Oh, okay, why well, I broke an elbow? We 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 play on slides completely differently. <laughs> <laughs> we, I tried no, to walk was, up like, a slide, to jump off uh-huh. the slide, like on um, like you know. Like, Were you going like, head first down? No, Darius was just trying to be extra. I was trying Wait. not to, but then ended like up like that. Were, there, were there chicks? I there? was trying to rock no. up a slide. No, okay. I, I was like, if there was chicks there, I was like, yeah, of course I'd be trying, trying to do flips, <laughs> look super dope. Walk up the slide, right? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Run up there. Yeah, I think it was like a three tier slide. So it was like I was on the second tier. Mm-hmm. Oh, the loop. The loop. The viral oh. one. I'm like, what rich kid school has <laughs> tiered <laughs> slides? That's. No, nah, rich geez. schools don't have dangerous stuff. That's true. That is true. <laughs> 
That's, that's all the old hood parks that are right? like, everything still with hot ass metal. Yeah, it's like, like duct tape on yeah. the side. The burn. Yeah. Winters. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't. I don't miss those. I, I'm. I think I'm a big fan of of what I think he should be playing sports and hanging out in. Helmet and a bubble. Right. Okay. Well, so they fun, do have those yeah. bubbles. Yeah. I was like gonna say suit? the mm-hmm. funny story is so my uncle is a coach um, for a local high school. Uh, bless you. Bless you. That was Darius okay, sneezing. Yeah. Sneeze. Um, he's a football coach for a local high school. Okay. And he said, so they do, a lot of their kids will end up with minor concussions and Mm -hmm. stuff like that. And his own son, my cousin got a a concussion from football. And so now the rules are very strict, um, where kids can't play right away. Cause they used to be like, you're fine. Just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got your bell rung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bell yeah. rung. Exactly. exactly. Bell, rub some dirt on it. You're gonna be fine. So now they have this giant helmet that they put the kids in because they still go to practice a week or two later, and it's this oh, giant funny. foam helmet that they have to. It's literally the size of like Mimi's brain. Oh my thing. gosh! And so I have a photo of my cousin. I'll see if I can find it where he literally is. On, they have a photo of him on the field with this huge red foam. So helmet. So that's basically saying, don't hit don't, this. Don't dude. hit the kid. He's training, but it's also to protect his head for any reason if he hits it. Right. Um, because you can, there's also that, what is it? I always forget it. It's like CAPD or something like that. COPD? COPD, thank you. The, uh, the, oh, wait, no, that's the long one. No, wait, that's the, yeah. The other, the, the, the other progressive concussion one, the one that, the, you, the baseball at, player. Who, oh. That, that guy. Anyways. Yeah. So there's progressive. What happened? Oh. <laughs> No, he hurt his ankle. Oh, yeah. No. So there's also like prog- like multiple concussions will permanently change your brain, yeah. Yeah. which is why they're trying to. There's um, professional athletes that have either. Well, the CTE. Yes. Yeah, I think that's. Correct. Oh, CTE. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. So there's a football player and a baseball player that uh, both died. Yeah, man. Um, I think one he died in prison or something like that. Yeah. He and the other one unfortunately change. took his, his, his own, own life. life. Yeah. But, but they donated their brains. Because they said this needs to be studied. Yeah. Right. But yeah, they, they knew changes. something was wrong with them. Like, yeah. They, they, I mean, if I saw the 30 for 30 and I know I'm like blanking on his name, but the personality change is very apparent. Right. Yes. To and it's where very real. He was at first and then after all these concussions and yes. then when he got CTE, it was like a totally different. Yes. Right. Yeah, like the, that's part of. Like, unrecognized. There was, that's there was part Aaron of Hernandez. Yes. That's that guy. And then there was also um, Junior Seau. That's one. the one. Yes, Junior that's the Seau. football player. Yes. But that's one of the parts of so post concussion syndrome. Right now, as they say, starts about the six month mark mm-hmm. after your injury, after you've healed from the physical things. So right. like the headaches, the migraines. Um, because like I had twenty four hour headaches. I don't know if you had that. I would go to sleep with a headache and wake up with a headache. Ugh. Um, from the first one, that's but you were really awful. young. Um, or you, d- I had weekly migraines, which was not fun. Um, but you end up healing usually about three months after. Three to five months, all that stuff dissipates. Then month six, that's when it's like, wait, there's psychological healing that has to happen. My doctor was really good about telling me about the physical stuff. He didn't really inform me about the psychological. I have a really good doctor, but even he didn't inform me about the psychological stuff. And I ended up researching it myself. And um, and that is depression, anxiety, um, inability to... Uh, like diminished stress capacity. Um, then you have things like personality changes, mood swings, um, some suicidal thoughts. I luckily didn't have that, but those are all part of the catch-all. And unfortunately, that's also a catch-all for a lot of other uh, sicknesses, illnesses, mental right. issues that are easily explained away. Oh, absolutely. Right? What, what's easily explained away is that's growing up. Yeah, that's going going Especially from he's, in he's a young middle school. yeah so you're, middle school is shitty for everyone. It is. Yeah, it is. it is. There's a reason they made middle school because those kids are devils. Oh, they the, are the, neuro, the neuro nerds say it all the time. <laughs> kids are dicks. Especially but, eleven and twelve. Yes. Well, okay, so I <laughs> teach mar- when I taught martial arts. That was like the worst age was teaching the junior high kids. They're I, evil. I actually um, did a documentary about. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a literary magazine. Uh, it's called The Beat Within. It's written and it's written by all incarcerated youth. Mm-hmm. So in order for me to get to know the kids, I started going to the sessions with them. Oh, wow. um, and that 12, 13 year old range, I'm like, I can't. I went once. I'm like, never fucking get the it. And I ended up having to file an incident report because one of them said that they touched my butt. And then it was like, oh, it was like they had to file like a, an assault claim and all this. But really, he touched my elbow. And uh. I'm like. Um, yeah, there's a big difference between elbow and a butt. Yeah. 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 Let's not touch too many butts, my G. 
Uh, <laughs> or or um, not too many female butts. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, sorry. that age range was the worst. And we ended up doing it about the, the 17, 16 yeah. year right. olds. Because um, you're, you're old enough to know a little bit more. Um, yeah. 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 And unfortunately, they're the ones who also do more serious crimes. Yeah. So they are more, um, they have better relationships with the people in the program because yeah. they're there longer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's craziness. So Darius, when I know it's, it's hard because you're still pretty young and still going through that growing up phase where your brain is still changing, your brain's going to keep changing until you're 25. He's like, nah, man, I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't game. No, right. <laughs> um, did you notice things that felt different that you're like, well, I don't know if this is normal or anything you communicated with your mom about? Yeah, was there anything like really out of the blue? Where I was like, oh, that's strange. That feels weird. Other than like, you know, you're walking like you're like, I noticed that. Yeah, it was like uh, what you were explaining earlier, like the, the suicide thought, mm-hmm. thoughts, the depression, mm-hmm. the, the anxiety. Like I had that like often. And then, you know, me, I wasn't like, uh, or when I was younger, mm-hmm. my mom could, uh, what you're going through. I used to like want to always talk to people and be a very outgoing guy. Mm-hmm. But, like after that, I was just like, I don't want to be bothered. You yeah. want to be around crowds. And before yeah. he, I mean. You, you, I, Joe, you know me pretty well. I'm pretty outgoing. I he can was, tell too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, was but he dope. was like more outgoing than me. Like, if I was feeling shy, I would be like, hey, go talk to that person. Yeah. And then he's like, okay. <laughs> and, then, and then you would like, you know, be my little road dog. But now he's like, well, there's going to be so many people there. I'm like, what are you talking about? You love people. So, so you got that new anxiety thing. And have you also experienced where it's like you can't trust your brain sometimes, where you're like, no, I, I feel okay. And your brain's like, no, you don't. No, yeah. you don't. Yeah. Right. And then you're like, okay, is this anxiety or is this the brain healing or is this both? Yeah. Right. Nice. I, I had anxiety about getting depression. Like I luckily did not get depression when I was healing or still am because um, I still have post concussion syndrome. But um, I remember I, I'd had depression when I was younger. So like part of me was like, oh my God, am I going to be depressed again? Am I falling back in? And that in turn just makes you panic. Well, yeah. But then a friend of mine pointed out, if you're having anxiety about being depressed, you're probably not depressed. You're just have anxiety. <laughs> right. Well, that, you know, that's, that's good. That's, right? that's a, a good way to look at it. But um, how are you feeling when you were going through this? Well, like you just came out of the blue. So it was like. It felt random, right? Like yeah, this isn't. Yeah. But then it stayed for like my whole Eighth grade, seventh grade, like let me let me level with you. Uh, Post concussion can be anywhere from six months to five years right now. Yeah, it was like ridiculous how much like sadness I felt, and like it's just like I wasn't like I knew something was weird, but then I just thought like maybe it was like the pressure I was feeling Mm -hmm. in school, just like myself causing problems, Mm -hmm. self diagnosing myself. Yep, but um, I never thought upon it like that's my concussion. Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking like. Oh, that, I'm doing that myself. Right. But then, like, now I'm noticing, and then, like, ever since I came on the show, you know, explaining it, and, like, it makes way more sense right. on how it started happening and why it's so, like, understandable now. Right. And right. it's also, what's nice when you can be like, oh, maybe it's tied to the concussion. It kind of takes some pressure off yourself yeah. mm-hmm. because you're like, you don't need to blame yourself for it. But at the same time, there's also a part of it where you're like, you can't control it. Because the one thing that you can't control is your body and your brain, you know? And you can't control the healing. No. Um, it's it's going to heal when it damn. When you it can do damned, things that improve I can it. say, like, as a parent, it's yeah. comforting to me to know that that is a symptom. Yeah. Right. Because, you know, I saw the difference. And I was going to say, did he talk to you about any of this? Yeah. Um, but kind of like more after the fact yeah. of like, he's having these like serious thoughts. Yeah, in the moment, as as mm-hmm. a as a dude, because I'm a dude. I don't know if you guys know that. So I, as we're as all a, dudes. Yeah. <laughs> as a dude being raised by like all women, it was like I, it was difficult for it was easier for me to talk to women, I guess. But like it was difficult to talk to them because it was like this really personal thing, and it had like this weird balance. Where, like I'm like a dude's dude. I don't right. want to talk about all of these like really just emotional things that make me feel a certain way. It's going to make me feel even more feminine, and I'm trying not to be feminine. I'm trying to be a grown ass man, even though I was like. 14. Well, I'm saying he's a young man here. And so mm-hmm. when you're growing, I'm sure you're also trying to work it out yourself in, yeah. your, in your own brain. And I'm sure it's also not the easiest thing to go talk to your mom and be like, hey, mom, I'm having like at that moment yeah. and being like, I'm having these really dark, weird thoughts. Yeah, like it was like a long, long time before I even like said anything. Like, I, personally, I didn't know like she figured it out or like, was noticing stuff because it would be like I'd come downstairs, eat 
go in my room, mm-hmm. stay in there like all day, mm-hmm. and then be school room. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like that'd be my safe zone because yeah. there was like you know I didn't have to worry about anything. And, but then it was like constantly my mind is always thinking and like taking things to a whole different level. So at a I'm scary really, level, huh? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm always like overthinking stuff. So it, it might not even be like myself. Like let's say my mom's like doesn't answer the phone, mm-hmm. but, like things go through my mind. Like she got an accident. Yep. This and that. It's just like. I don't like that about myself, but it's just like something that I've been dealing with for like a decent amount of time now. Right. So I'm kind of used to it. But hey, you know what? B- big love to both of you guys. You know, for noticing and actually being like upfront and being like, "Hey, Ma, this is what's going on." That's it. Takes a lot, especially at your age. Even though clearly you're a grown ass man. Okay. Joe, Even I'm though at this, stop calling him <laughs> yeah. a grown No, he man. is still a child, <laughs> Joe. Stop it! Oh my god. Lauren I'm, is so strong. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I, I like being called a grown man. Mm, of course yeah. you do. You don't like, you're going to like that now. You're not going to like it later when you're 18 and everything. You have to pay for everything yeah, yourself as a grown ass man. That's a good man. point. Right, right? Hey, enjoy no more this. free bailout. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like, is he, is he like mama's boy? Is he your, I guess so. Yeah. I guess he's not a daddy's boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Audible is offering our listeners a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. As a brain injury or a stroke survivor like myself, it's hard for me to get through reading books due to my injury. But with Audible, I can now enjoy as many books as I want just by listening. Before I started using Audible, I was having trouble reading my brain buddy Mimi Hayes' book. I'll be okay, it's just a hole in my head. But once it popped up on Audible, I immediately put it on my wish list. Read Mimi's book with us. That's right, the Neural Nerds are forming a book club. What a great way for our brain injury survivor community to read books together. And even if you don't want to read the book we're reading, with this free trial, you can select any book of your choice for free. Go to audibletrial.com slash the Neural Nerds. Boom! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> so for, for you, Kayla, like you said, like I'm sure that was terrifying. For you as a mother. Yes. And like to me, I mean, I didn't know about post concussion syndrome. So I'm in my mind like, what the fuck happened? Mm -hmm. Like, who do I need to go kill? Right. right? Like, who do I be? be A person. person. Yeah. Or like an experience that happened Mm -hmm. that like causing him to feel like. Yeah. Who hurt my child? Yeah. And then like, I'm he had a a little girlfriend at the time. I would see her. Oh, this little trick ass hoe. Right. (laughs) Right. I would see her dad at 7-Eleven be like, oh, you don't know how to raise no kids. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But I didn't know that that wasn't even like a possibility. possibility. So I'm sitting there like, like what can you do? Like, like, who do I need to punish? Yeah, I'm sure it's like a weight off of both of you. You know, you just being like, oh, okay, there's a reason why I'm feeling this way. It's not just like, this isn't just what this is. It's not just teenage angst. Right. And and for you, it wasn't like, I don't have to kill anybody. Yeah, I'm not going to jail. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like, um, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I still experience those thoughts. Like, sometimes, like, I just, like, I get in, like, a deep or dark mood. And Mm -hmm. it's like, I push myself away. But then, like, sometimes I kind of, like, shine through and, Mm -hmm. you know, talk to people and be nice. But still, I have that, like. There's too many people. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to go here. I, I live that. It's, yeah. And then it's just like, like my mind always constantly thinking. That. And then it's just, it's really annoying. So I have a question for you. Have you ever gone for therapy? I, I have. Mm-hmm. But personally, like sometimes, it, depending on the person, mm-hmm. like my relationship with that person, I don't like opening up. Yeah. So that's the hard part. To a therapist, they're just like, hey, tell me your problems. Yeah. I'm like, uh, what I, I totally get that because I'm one of those people where it's like, no, I can figure it out and self-diagnose and I know what to do. Because yeah, that's yeah. healthy. Lauren. Yeah, totally healthy. Then you also need to be able to have a good relationship. Like, yes. like you were saying in another episode about like you get broken up with, with your yeah. therapist. Yeah. With your like, therapist. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's, 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 it's a relationship. Absolutely. A relationship. Yeah. So we, we have to vibe and like, of course, and being a teenage boy. On that's, top of that's the really hard part. I mean, I didn't go to a therapist for a year and a half after my car accident because again, I didn't realize like I was trying to tell myself I didn't have post concussion, though I knew it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was trying to deal with the insurance companies, but the, they were denying my claim. And they were basically saying I made it up, even though my doctors had written down that I had a concussion and that it was caused by the car accident. But because there was a clerical error on the paperwork, the insurance agency said I was lying and that I completely made it up. That's horrible. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, yeah, seriously. And it was a clerical error. And they didn't even tell us that in, until I got my lawyer. And I got a lawyer that was a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, Because I literally was, I would get so much anxiety. Like if I saw a phone call, if I got a letter and I would put it away and not deal with it oh, because I couldn't, I, I would go into a panic attack. 
And so finally, a friend of mine is a personal injury attorney. And she's like, this is bullshit. I'm going to help you. We're going to take care of this. But one of the things she made me do is go see a therapist, a psychologist. Uh, the most expensive psychology I've ever done because it co- ended up costing me like $3,000 out of Ooh. my settlement. <gasps> but I want to, I want I want to pass on some, since you're not currently probably going to a therapist right now, something to help as one concussion person to another. Um, the most helpful um, advice that this doctor gave me was that you have to reframe everything. Right. And that's really hard to do sometimes. Um, especially because you're, you are really young. There is a difference when you're young and when you have a little bit more experience under your belt. But one of the things is you have to accept your new normal. Oftentimes when you're a brain injury survivor, Joe will attest to this. We often look back to who we were before right. the injury and we try to get back to where we were. It doesn't help us move you, forward. No, you try to get back to the person that you were, the happy person, the, the outgoing person that you were. Um, the confident person that you were, and you keep putting that on a pedestal, and you keep looking up at it, right. and you're not going to get there. No, you won't. And it's, it. it sounds harsh, but it sounds know, really harsh. But you won't get there. It's um, okay, though. Yeah, it's okay. So it's not like it, there's nothing abnormal about it. It's absolutely normal. Mm-hmm. It's just a new normal. Yeah, That's and it. and it's I, like I always think about. It's like Pokemon. Do you play Pokemon Go at all? Yeah. Ever ever I, watch I, Pokemon? I played, okay, you know I Pokemon. Played, okay. but- <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I was trying to bond with him earlier. I'm like, what are you into? So I was like, do you know Pokemon? And you're like, Uh, no, no, no. You're like, do you know Baldur's Gate? Come on, man. You're not bonding with anybody. (laughs) It's a bunch of nerds. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Um, (laughs) But it's so the way we describe it, and we've, Joe and I have talked about it, is like, it's your next evolution. Like, if you're going to be Oddish, right? The the Pokemon Oddish, you got to go through Gloom and then to Vile Plume, right? But if you keep trying, he, <laughs> you picked up for I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 sorry. Yeah. 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 By the like, way, I make that face. I you watched. guys didn't see it. He made the face that I made. Okay, let's do eight <laughs> times a day. When okay. I'm hanging out with Laura. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let's go back to how about like, Charmander? Pick, you know Charmander? Say, pick a the Pokemon? Yeah. yeah. Charmander and then Charizard, right? So there's Charmeleon yeah. in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna start as a char as a Charmander, right? And then if you want to get to Charizard, because we all want to level up in our lives, right? We want to be fire. Right? We want to be fire. Um, I was like, I just want to be a plant. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I love Bulbasaur. Um, But, you know, if you find yourself after a brain injury, right? Your new normal might be that you are, you're not comfortable with crowds anymore. For me, as I forget words. Which is That's absolutely, hard for you. it's That's very so hard difficult for, for me because I pride myself on how articulate I am. And you speak hella languages. Yeah, and I speak a lot of languages. What? So for me, I forget words in English, which is devastating. And before I saw this therapist, I would completely beat myself up. I'd be like, what is wrong with me? Like, why can't I remember these damn words? Like, I could remember it last week, blah, blah, blah. And what she made me realize was if I keep holding myself to being able to remember words, I am going to be crying for the rest of my life. Right. And because I would literally cry because it was just so frustrating. Yeah. So I had to accept that the new normal is I forget words, which is absolutely devastating to me even now. But that's where I'm at. Is I can't remember words. Right. And it's more accepting. So you can move for, move past it right. quicker. So, But when I forget the words, I don't beat myself up because that's where I am. That's my new normal. So right. when I remember the words, that's like a, oh, yeah. I remember the damn word. Like, I'm, right? killing, it I'm killing the game today because I remembered the damn word. Right. But it also helps me like and now in conversations with people when I forget words, instead of sitting there for 10 minutes trying to jog my memory, I just immediately move on. Yeah. Because I'm like, all right, we don't remember that word. Get to something close. And I'll tell people like, this isn't the right word. It's right there. Almost, no, I'm getting but it's there. Not quite. I'm getting there. Um, so I would impart on you as especially as you're growing up as a young man. Right, not not a grown man. As Thank a young you. man, no, 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 no not you. grown man, not grown ass man. No, no. Grown as a young man, man yeah. right? And you're turning into it from what your mother is raising you as as a classy gentleman. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Classy right? grown ass man. Classy, <laughs> classy young man turning yeah. into a gentleman, young grown ass man. Um, is to keep in mind as like you go through the teenage angst, which will happen, of course. Oof. Is yeah. right. Um, is you, that that all the darkness that you're feeling in those days where you have the low points. Like that's just going to be normal for right now. Yeah. Like the new normal in your in your charmeleon phase is that you're just you have some low points. So when you're not having those low points, that's a great that's like XP boost, right? Like your XP is going up. Joe is freaking out about my metaphor here. And then you know at some point, right? You're going to turn into a Charizard, but that's going to have to come with some acceptance and some work, you yeah. know. Um, so the, when yeah. you get down, so here's the thing about getting down: it's okay. 
it's okay. You know, like when I was younger, anytime I would get like upset or depressed or anything like that, it's like, don't feel that way. Yeah. Feel that way. That's the old It's school. okay. Here's the trick. Conceal. Yeah. Don't feel. Yes. Ugh. Catholic. Don't be hella real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was Catholic. I know all about like the, the conceal and shove it down. So, right. so it's okay to feel that way. Just don't get stuck there. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, but even that's pressure. It, well, it's not pressure. It's not pressure. It's 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 so the pressure you don't is. Want to get so far down that yeah, you feel like yeah, you don't need to. Be yeah, feel, feel that way. If, Lauren's done it with me a few times, where I'll be like, man, everything sucks. It's terrible. I'm a brain injury. Can't remember anything. And then she's like, okay, have a pity party. Yeah. Be better tomorrow. Yeah. Let me get you a cake. Like, yeah. Let, yeah. let oh, it no. go. Sometimes I feel like he's like a little kid, and I get the keys. I'm like, look at the keys. Destruction. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, look shiny. I'm like, yeah, yeah, shiny. And I'm right <laughs> back in there. But yeah, it's like feel feel bad. Like take take an hour. Take a couple of minutes, an hour, take an evening, but then the next day, all right, it is what it is. Move forward, move past it. That's like the trick. Mm-hmm. I say that like it's easy. Yeah, I was like, that it's, sounds very It's easy. not easy, but it's something that you should practice and like lean towards doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, um, like one, like a getaway for me was uh, hanging out with my uncles, mm-hmm. like, her brother and my dad's mm-hmm. brother. Like, and especially like, my dad's brother, he would uh, take care of me a lot. Like, I was his own. Mm-hmm. He taught me how to drive. Awesome. Good man. He was like, yeah, he was like really cool. And uh, he's like, when somebody cuts you off, you stick your middle finger out of him, right? Stop what? It. No? That's no, that's what, what he taught him. No, that is okay. <laughs> he had really Do not. Cool once I was on the freeway and I'm like in my rear view, you see this car like wilding, zipping back and forth. And now I'm like, damn, they're tripping. And they pull up next to me and it was his uncle. Okay. The neuro nurse does not condone road rage. No, 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 not at all between us two. But you guys have at it. Okay. No? Too much? I have okay. my own road rage. I just don't broadcast it. Oh, yeah, Plausible true. deniability. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah, that's why you have human thumbs in your trunk. Shut up. From people who have cut um, you off before. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Jairus. So, continue. <laughs> but yeah, like my, my uncle Jose, he would, uh, yeah, he would be going on a boat, go camping, or drive around, do donuts, like whatever. He's from Oakland. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. He was from San Francisco, but uh, I was like, okay. Lived in Oakland. That explains you know, it. Took him to his first side show. It was all about it. He's in a Kamaya video. Yeah. Oh, hey. You know. But yeah, um, yeah. My, my uncles are like dope. You know what I'm saying? And I look to always look at them as like father figures right. because, you know, I'm not trying to downgrade my dad, but also him. But right. He right. wasn't the best. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, and it was like just my mom and then my uncles basically that showed me a lot. And then uh, when I was going through that, like that horrible phase, it was them like who held me. Oh, God. And then like, I didn't necessarily tell them all about it, right. but. Is I'd rather have somebody that doesn't know and just support you. Yeah, support me like no matter what. Yeah, and then like not have that weird thing I tell them like look at me a different way. Right. I feel like they wouldn't. Yeah. Right. Just just to, that, that I, is a hundred percent why we what we do. Yeah. We, we talked about stigma of brain and injuries judgment. and judgment with like a lot of people. We don't talk about it because it makes you feel weak. People are gonna look at you like you're broken. Well, not you're even not. that. They're gonna look at you sometimes like you're lying because it's you not can't a physical. See it. You, you can't, can't see it. it. It's an you know? unseen. Condition. Yeah, it's, it's an it's an, an invisible injury. illness injury. Yeah. Invisible it's kind of crazy because it's like it is a physical injury, yeah. right. but it uh, feels like an emotional injury. Yeah, right, right. Because that's the post concussion yeah, yeah. and oh, the you, healing. You, yeah, you're, you're gonna get a thing that I think all of us uh, brain injury survivors get. Yeah, but you look so normal. Mm-hmm. The worst. Oh, you can't tell. You had Wiley. Like, what does that mean? Yeah. What am I supposed to, like, my list was to hang off? Right, exactly. right. Like, what am I supposed to look like? Right, not everybody ends up, like, in, in a cane or a wheelchair. And not or... everyone is, an, you know, an elder, right? right. It's right. young people. Mm-hmm. There's children and babies who have very severe brain injuries, yeah. you know? Yeah, and Because you, you, you have you a, a vibrant young champion over here with a brain injury. Oh, my gosh. And then you, you. you have two very young, very attractive, grown-ass men who had brain injuries. Right? Uh, no, I see a young man growing into being a gentleman, and yes. I see Grandpa Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Ken, day. Hey, hey, it's not great. It's platinum streaks I got in the beard. Peppered, right? Peppered. Peppered. I like that. <laughs> so, Darius, now you say you played football. You play football? Uh, I played. I um recently I was going to sign up for my high school team. Uh huh. Like I was thinking about I had too many concussions, and uh, you know what? That's smart. I was going to say proud, actually. Proud I'm very proud of that <laughs> Like I, I wouldn't be opposed if you were like, you know, I'm going to go out. I'd be like, OK, cool. I'd rather you didn't. But like, it's great that you came up with that decision. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I was like, I really want to do it. Like I hear people talking about, dang, I want to do it. Right. But then it's just like, I can't because I, I mean, times I just. Right. Your brain is still developing now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're very susceptible to other to concussions because of right. your past concussions. 
You know, yeah. I think they like this. Are you, you go, probably not going to go to the NFL? You might. I'm just saying. I'm like, how tall are you? But, it, but, it, <laughs> but, it, but if not, there's so many other amazing, beautiful things that you need other this sports. beautiful brain for. You can you know do another I mean? sport. Also, right? this girl. Or you could do broadcast like your mama. Or you could be a broadcaster like your mama. Yeah, yeah. There's also girls. So all your focus and energy there. No, 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 no. I mean, you put, no, you put your focus and energy in school. The teen parent no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you put your focus in school. You put your focus in school. Get yourself a scholarship. Help mama out. You go to college. You get a degree. You get a good job. You know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start your business. And whatever you do, wear a helmet <laughs> all the time. Always. Oh no! See, we're gonna do an episode where I teach Joe how to pole dance, and we're gonna wear helmets. Yes. Because it's safety first, people. Safety it's be first. Fabulous. Then teamwork. Yes. Teamwork. Yes. Nope. No. Just safety. Yes. No teamwork. <laughs> are you a stroke or brain injury survivor looking for community and support? Well, the Neuro Nerds are here to help. Join our hashtag USORock Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash USORock to connect with other survivors like you. Plus, read other inspirational brain injury survivor stories on Joe's blog at joesorocks.com slash USORock. And submit your stories there as well. We want to hear them. And remember, you, you so, so rock. rock. <laughs> so Is there anything that you would like to share with any, any of our listeners? Because we have some young listeners. You do. We do. That, I try not to curse too much. I am so sorry. I know. So do I. I had a brain injury. What the fuck? Jim? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is there anything that as you as a brain injury survivor with a concussion and you're in school and you're still growing that you would want to tell someone either a little bit younger or your age that might be going through this? Well, it's just like, uh, it, it sucks. Like, it sucks a lot. Yeah. Um, and what I get a lot sometimes is because I have a lot of mood swings. So like, mm-hmm. I'm not in a good mood or I'm just, you know, I'm fine for a second and then switch to another one. Like people look at me different, especially at school. Like, why are you, why are you acting weird? What's wrong? What happened? And it, that's like overwhelming because I always get that question. Mm-hmm. And then like the people out there, it's like, you're going to have to deal with that, especially if you have a brain injury and you have mood swings. And if, you know, don't let that stress you out and then, you know, make, put you down more than you already are. And then also think about like the positives and what makes you happy upon, uh, so you can change your mood. And then you don't have to stay find in there. Find your shiny key. Find your shiny key. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. We always like to promote and talking about like, you got to find what makes you happy. And you can't be happy 24-7. That's not sustainable. No, no, that's and it's insanity. not real. Yeah, that's insanity. But you have to yeah. find a way, like you're saying, to kind of accept if you have mood swings or if you have these thoughts or you have these episodes. And, you know, and not let the pressure of your peers, like you say, to make you feel worse about yourself you, you know? know you know more than anything kids are dicks you know what i mean but just uh, understand that the ones that don't understand eh, that's that's all right you don't need to really mess with them too much you know what i mean even if they're the popular kids trust me they're gonna peak in high school yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah i was just about to say high school is a weird dynamic because it's like everyone's all together all the yep. time and like then there's all these it's weird, a reality like, show classifica- it is all these weird like big brother or something like, it's a weird classification yeah. Then as soon as you get out of high school, you're like, oh, none of that shit. At all. None of at all. Matters. Like, if I wanted to run into, like, some of, like, the idiot idiots, like, in high school, I just have a pizza delivered. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's where they're at. <laughs> Ooh, but then, sh- <laughs> Burn. Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, seriously, though, like, where you're at right now, I'm super proud of your mm-hmm. um, your progression. You know what I mean? Even the fact, like, it just blows my mind that you were like, yeah, mom, I'm feeling like this. I couldn't do that. It, it took a long time, though. And then it, I just, like, it was, I, I've talked, I, I talked to it with like two of my friends and then like that, them like really like talking to me a lot. Mm-hmm. It was like the occurrence of, like, it was more easier to talk about. And then like, I knew my mom like cares a she lot about you, yeah. And then, so I was just like, you know, she got to know. That's awesome. You got to find your people. You, you got to find your gente like that are going to be there to talk and support you. Your rider dies. Your rider di- Nope. No? Nope. Your, your rider lives. There you go. R- yeah. Ride and live. I'm the same way. I say the same thing. Like, why well, I got to <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to die. Yeah, yeah we're going to ride like, and enjoy life to the fullest. Exactly. We need those. Right, we ain't someone losing it here, okay? It, it doesn't Ew. sound as good in a I'm rap going song. Left. I'm going to Yeah, America. you're like, you okay, turn. You know what I mean? It doesn't sound <laughs> as good as a rap song. Yeah, my ride and live together in harmony and enjoy things. It doesn't yeah. flow off the tongue. You know what I mean? Write it down. Right. Well, rappers, y'all need to come up with. Like, yeah, can we, like we need to get away from the mumble rap and kind of go back to the 80s and the 90s, like the good rap, right? Yeah, Where yeah. you're talking about serious issues. Yeah, enunciate, guys. Come yeah. on. 
You can do this. They're like the Ariana Grande's where she doesn't enunciate her words. <laughs> That's the mumble rap of today. You just referred to rappers of today as Ariana Grande. Yes. You know that, with right? With their mumble rapping where you can't understand and everything is about, I don't know. Money, drugs, money, girls. Money, drugs, bitches, and hoes. Like, uh, yeah. All I'm saying is in the 90s, they also talked about money, drugs, bitches, and hoes. No, they did, <laughs> but they were much more well, but, articulate. But we were very articulate. They, we could understand that. Oh, but okay, but we got yin yang twins. That's true. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Yeah. yeah. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Suck it. <laughs> well, I was like, that's Whisper Song, and that was 2000. I'm thinking about, like, I do some old school, I like some you, good I music in my twerk that. class, like pop oh that coochie, God. right? We understand what's being said in there. Darius so is like, I don't, don't know what that if means. It's, if it's a little raunchy. No, we don't care about raunchy. Exactly. I want to understand what they're saying. Right. You're calling me a hoe. I want to know you calling me a hoe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want Queen Latifah to bust out and be like, who you calling a bitch? Exactly. <laughs> I'm it. Yeah. You and I see you are. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor, Avid Technology, for providing us with the tools, or should I say pro tools, to record, edit, and mix our podcast and get our message out clearly to the world. Try Avid first to start recording today for free at avid.com slash pro dash tools. Yay. Yay. So, Darius, yeah, so Kayla, is there anything you guys want to share with our listeners, either as our, our, uh, our neuro nerds out there and our brain buddies, maybe as a, uh, as a, what would what we call our support team? Um, our, remember I said neurons, but it just, yeah, it sound like they were, or morons. Yeah. Uh, so our, our, you're like support team. Yeah. Like how, Neuro yeah, the neuro nerd adjacent. Yes. Yeah. So, is there anything you want to share as a mom? As a mom to maybe some other um, uh, children out there who have had brain injuries, you know, like some other mothers who've had kids the who've stress. gone through something similar. Yeah. I think um, being the, an advocate because your your yes. kids not going to know what to ask. Do the research. Try to find out. Listen to shows like this. I mean, I mean to be honest, really, like this. Just, I mean, my first time talking to Joe about all of this. I I went and did more research and I started to understand him a little better. So try to understand. And also if, if things do happen, like you, that your child does get a concussion, ask the questions. What do I do next? What do I need to be aware of? What's going to happen? Because like in an emergency room situation and things like that, they're not going to tell that it's up to you, mm-hmm. even though, unfortunately. Right. We say it all the time. You have to be your own advocate. You, do. you know what I mean? And as a, as a kid, your your parent has to be your advocate. See, yes. kid, he is a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a grown ass <laughs> man child. <laughs> teenager. teenager. Okay, but that's very true. That's a very we again. Just as we do, always say, be your own advocate. But as neuro nerd adjacent support team, we always talk about how you can help us research, yes. help us with questions that maybe we're too scared to ask our medical providers, or we don't even think to ask. Right. Or you know, so those are really helpful tips as well. Yeah. And if you're you're your baby does come to you, um, baby. That your um, baby does come to you. <laughs> Teenage don't baby. Ignore them. Don't yeah. ignore them. Take them yeah. seriously. Like you yes. said, you you know, some people feel like it's faking or mm-hmm. it's teen angst or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, if there's a brain injury involved, just be a little bit more aware, I think. Yeah. But yeah. then there is people that who do fake depression and yes. anxiety and stuff like that just to get popular and see, have more eyes like, on. Look at him. He's like, this is, let's see, yeah. like real talk, though. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have some hella real talk yeah. right now about those punk-ass kids <laughs> that are faking concussions and depression. Come on, punk-ass kids. Stop being punk-ass kids. I think a lot of the, like you were saying, the music, a lot of the music yeah. these days is a lot it's of... It's trash. It's <laughs> trash, yes. Child, I love you. <laughs> um, is about being depressed and sad. Right. And so it almost becomes cool like yeah, to, be to be like, depressed. oh, fucking sad. Yeah. yeah. You know what's cool? What's amazing? Enjoying, being healthy. Enjoying yourself. Yeah. Like being healthy. Living that, life. Living your best life. Smiling. Yeah. Smiling feels so much better than frowning. It really does. It also, does. less wrinkles. Less right. wrinkles. That's right. Keep Those that. of us late, of a certain age, less wrinkles. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm going to look like this when I'm 85. Honey, no. <laughs> I got mistaken for an 18-year-old this weekend. Oh, my gosh. Someone I got lying. Feels oh. good. Yep. <laughs> wow. All right. And Darius, You do look like a baby. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to say and add and close our show out with? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. We, we got to get your nerd. Quick em. fire. 
What are you nerdy about? I know I tried quizzing him it's, earlier. It's not it was Baldur's really hard. Gate because no. that's nobody's nerd. It's only Lauren's. She's the only person in if the world. If anyone listens or plays Baldur's Gate out there, please like support me and tell me you exist so I'm not the only I'm one. I'm not sure if those other three or people Diablo. listen to our show. Or Diablo. Like, she's going to find them. She gonna find I'm, I'm going to find you guys. Tell me, do you play Diablo and Baldur's Gate? Nobody but plays Diablo either. <gasps> yeah, indoor games. There's like that. three. See, she played. It. Oh, Kayla, no. I it. I oh, okay. People play. <laughs> I've oh. heard of that. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, See, yeah. she's heard. She's heard. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. alleged people. So l- let's go ahead. Um, I like video games a lot. Which like, yeah. look? Uh, tell our viewers what kind Be of video specific. games. Specific, like yeah. uh, killing games, zombie games. Yeah, kind of I like mystery games like Zelda and stuff like that. I like those too. All right. Uh, but yeah, like Red Dead Redemption. Nah, that's all right. I played GTA more than that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what about you said you had a favorite TV show oh yeah The Walking Dead yeah. did you see the whole thing uh, I haven't caught up on season 9 yet okay but... they're doing a movie oh for real yeah the, like, I Rick, Rick I didn't know that because Rick, Rick I'm not gonna oh spoiler spoiler, maybe? spoiler, spoiler. Alert. Alert. what happened the to first Rick one of the yeah, where the, he like got taken away or whatever out. and you thought he was dead but he's not they're going to make a movie based on like what's happening in his life then and there. Uh, yeah, I always had like an assumption that he might come back like like season 10. Maybe. Right. Yeah. Do you have a favorite character from there? Uh, I have like four. And okay. Was, like, Negan. Is Negan? It, one of them was Negan. Yeah, man. And then it was Glenn and then Daryl and then Rick. Yeah. And you have to, that's a solid four. I'm very happy with that. Like, right. I'm really good with that. Kayla, what's your nerdum? Is that, wait, it's got to be hella nerdy. It's gotta be Helen. I'm like, can you beat being my nerdy? To a nerd, does that count? <laughs> As it being married to a nerd, you know that what? Count? That <laughs> that kind of counts because Trip, no joke, friend of the show, has been on the show. Trip Denim, huge nerd. Him and I vibe really well. And I also say huge because Trip's fucking tall. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a tall man. <laughs> I have to he's look up. I have water. to look up to everyone. You have to look up to everybody. You're like five feet tall in heels. Shut up. So I what, never did more nerdy stuff until. What's I your jam? Me. Like, is it a music? Is it? It could be cooking. Fashion? It could be. There's so I many am nerds. hella into cooking. Yes. Um, all what do you, about it. Um, I it'd be good to get too. excited about crock pot <laughs> recipes and stuff like that. And then I, you know, I do video. So I'm nerdy about all that stuff. I'm oh, like, what's the new gadget that's coming out? What is this? Oh, there's a new live streaming, blah, 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 whatever. I um, get super nerdy about that stuff. That's a good nerd. That, that is a good nerd. Also, the neuro nerds, we hella love to eat. Oh, Just yeah. saying. Yeah. Come we, over. Come we accept. Over. We, <laughs> yeah. I was like, we accept all donations in the form of food. Uh, <laughs> what's what's your favorite thing that I make, Darius? I'm trying. He's my yeah. new protege. I'm go. trying to get into um, cook soup. I say your your soup dumplings or your oh chicken and dumplings. Ooh. Chicken and dumplings. Oh, where? Oh, yeah, they're like smacking. So, yeah. Or, uh, I have to say, Darius made perfect snickerdoodles the other <gasps> day, which I've never been able to. And you achieve. didn't share. <laughs> he only oh, made I a said. half recipe. He shared with his stomach. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I'm a little. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he did. I'll give credit. So he's a. So he's a good boy. He shares. Yes. What a, do you have any favorite books, TV show? Well, oh, I was a big Harry Potter nerd. You know, I read. what's your house? What's your house? I never actually did the. Test. What do you think is your house? Obviously, Slytherin. I want to be Gryffindor. Duh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man, Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Yes, seriously. Sl- evil. Yeah. yeah. Evil. I like that. <laughs> I see you right there. All right, concussion. No, I think, uh, yeah, I think he just agreed with that because he feared for his life. Nah, he's he's a, he he's, never he's cool as a cucumber <laughs> going on right scared. there. He really is. Like, he, he can, yeah. Hello, fellow Slytherin. I support you. No, yes. no, we're not supporting. So, who is your favorite children. character in Harry Potter? Did uh, you have I loved one? Hermione? That was my nickname in high school. Oh, okay, yeah, girl, girl. Like it, I had the hair. Too. Like, yeah. well, you see, that's just I because she too. had messy hair. I, you know, there is always a, a fan theory that she's actually. Yes, black. she is. Yes, I saw if that you, too. If you go by her the she, description, she, yes, she, she actually is in the play in the yes, UK. Yes, she, she's played by. Yeah, if you go by the description in the book, yeah, she's black. So, shout out to Afro Comic Con. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I read all the books. Like, we uh, actually in seventh grade we had a. I went to super ghetto school. So they're like, let's help the children. And we I got went to, to ghetto school too. So, so I get we it. got to like I went to all the elementary. smart kids. <laughs> we got to go and uh, read a bunch of books and then present them to the district as to like, this should be required reading. Yeah. Oh. And um, you did Harry Potter. Harry Potter. That's awesome. Like the first, it was like book two. I yeah. Think. And by that time, only book two was out. So I followed it ever since then. But I didn't know how big it was. Actually, my cousin was like, oh, we're going to go. I'm going to go buy the next Harry Potter. Like, oh, I got Harry Potter. I'm going to go with you. 
And then it got to like seven o'clock PM. I'm like, isn't the bookstore closed? He's like, no, we're going at midnight. And I'm like, there's a, a release like, I was party. So confused. Like, then we get there and it was like hell of people there. It's popping. I'm like, oh, this is like, I'm not the only one who reads this thing. Yeah. You're like, oh. Isn't it and nice? Then it became being, like a yeah. phenomenon. It isn't did. it nice being the smart kids at a ghetto school? Yeah. You and get, yeah. The thing is, when you get into no. the real world, yes. right? Doesn't you matter. have the ghetto-ness yes. and the street smarts, but you didn't even know you yep. had. because in You your, didn't live you in a think, bubble. Yeah, because you think you're the, like, good girl. Yep. You're, like, the smart one. Then you yep. get out to the real world. Like, oh, no, I was like some hood shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, then you realize, and then you realize all the other smart, all the other kids that went to the rich kids' schools, you're like, damn, you didn't have any real life experiences. Right, exactly. Right? Yep, yep. I was like, did no one teach you don't walk in traffic? Like, come on. Like, the basic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Nerds. Walk. No, that's smart like a nerd. Answer. Smart. Yeah. They called me smart. See, your name was Hermione. Mine was Smart Girl. Yes, girl. Smart girl. <laughs> that could. Oh, that reminds me of Smart Guy. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. You, you, you could have been related to the Maoris, right? Oh my god. I yeah. totally could. They're girl. black and white. You know. Yeah, if you could oh, be she the. Oh, vaguely look like Tia and Tamara. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, you, if they want to give you another me, Kayla. We're gonna name you Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> Tia and Tamara and Taylor. And Todd. People always think my name is Taylor over the phone. Hey. That's weird. I get Jeff for some reason. I don't know why. That's not even close. It's At least not, Kayla Taylor. It okay. is not. This has been happening my entire life where they're like, oh, what's your name? Oh, I'm Joe. Jeff? What? No. Some people say Harry is for me. Harriet? Harriet? Because that makes sense. Right. It does. I'm like, oh, yeah. is, is that even a name? You're like, it's a D is an H. Okay. Harriet. Harriet. Cool. I'm going to call you Harriet now. Yeah. It's like Harry Potter, but it's like the. This is Harry's Potterus. <laughs> nah, man, it just seems like a really hairy dude. Yeah, you know what I, know. I mean? So, well, as we've, de- yes. as we've devolved now, as always, <laughs> yes, we always devolve in every episode. Uh, uh, <laughs> so th- this has been the first of uh, a se- an ongoing series that we're going to be do be doing um, called Team TBI Talk. Yep. Right? Should we hashtag that? Yeah. Hashtag Team TBI Talk. TBI. TTBI? No, T-T-B-I-T. That just hurt my brain. I don't <laughs> that was know if a we're lot of too many. So I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful to I have. I we just call it huh? Darius. Name it after Darius. He's the first one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 He's the, like, that's no. too much intention. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we'll do Team TBI talk. And we're going to be doing this throughout the year. But this is uh, mostly we're doing this right now with Darius because it's time for back to school. Back that means school. more traffic, more kids, more everything. But it's everyone's going back to school. And it's really right. important. And doing um, football trials. And football trials. Yeah. That it's really important for, you know, um, our kids and our younger listeners or parents with family or friends that have young kids that this is a serious thing. Absolutely. You know, you and, know and bring and a little more we, attention. We have to bring awareness to this. I'm going to bring some awareness to all the kids out there, too. Stop being dicks. All right. I'm just saying. That's impossible. They have all you, these just, crazy Just do, do your best. I think that's like physically impossible. Stop being so judgy. Stop being dicks. And also, kids out there, stop doing weird stuff for girls. Just yeah. saying. You can don't, give concussions. don't get yeah. concussions yeah. for girls. Don't hit. It's not worth it. Young men, ladies, it's not worth it. You know, like, you don't need to be impressing no one right now, okay? Don't don't get a concussion. You don't. So I'm, No I'm, one likes you on a concussion, okay? You're <laughs> passing out on them and throwing up. Like, come that, on. That, that's true. <laughs> There's nothing hot about that. You're not you're not killing it. Not you're killing throwing up game. and passing out. So, I want a big thank you to Darius for being here and yes, sharing and you. being open Thanks and sharing, sharing your story. A uh, huge thank you to uh, uh, Kayla. Kayla. Kayla, you've been hella dope. Yeah, being hey. a super mom Seriously, and super supportive. Seriously, for being amazing. And being an, an advocate. Amazing mother, being an amazing parent. It was, it was so great. So where can yeah. we find you, Kayla? So my personal is uh, at Kayla Joe Show because my life is a show. Woo! Yeah. Um, and then the show, uh, Hella Real, is the Hella Real Show. Perfect. So where where can they find you, Darius? Uh, at dmoney123 underscore 1239. We'll include that list. Make, they, they, there should be a make it rain noise right there. I know, right? So if there's any other kids, though, if you guys are interested, maybe if Darius is down, make sure to send him a message. And, yeah, let him or, know you heard him on the neural Exactly. Network, you know, so like, who's this weird? Exactly. Guy? If you guys have concussions as well or brain injuries and you guys want to connect with Darius, you know, he has his socials out there. But you guys can also contact uh, Joe and myself or the Neuro Nerds, and we can make that contact as well. Absolutely. And if there's any parent out there that has any questions, feel free. Hit up Kayla. Hit me up. And, you know, she's a, a wealth of information. She's a super dope parent, as you guys can tell. Even just for support. And and even just like, for yeah. support. Even if, if uh, what, whether you, you're a, a parent, if you're a TBI survivor, you're one of the kids or not, go check out the Hella Real Show. That's it right. is super Hella dope. Is it That's 18 right. over? <laughs> it, 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 um, adults only. Um, 
I guess it's whatever. it's made for the new world we live in. Okay, there right? you go. Yeah, Where yeah. kids are handing out their socials. Yeah. It's a beautiful new world that we yes, live in. Yes, See? you guys should come on the show. You guys should. Yes, we'll oh, come. Oh, shit. The neuro nerds are getting hella real. Oh, my God. Mm, we already have Felice, I'm just saying. <gasps> oh. Hey. The, the, the neuro nerd production team. Oh the entire God. production yes. team. Yes. <laughs> we'll all be there. We, are, we can all become a machine here. Yeah, yes. yeah. See, we're just spitting out content. We're taking yes. over the world, people. That's right. Yes. <laughs> so, as always, the neuro nerds, we are here to help. Follow me at Joe So Rocks everywhere. Follow Lauren at Lauren L. Manzano on Instagram. Follow us, the neuro nerds, at the Instagram. At the, the Instagram. <laughs> Follow us at you the neuro, neuro nerd on those internet. <laughs> Grandpa Joe. Yes. Follow us, the neuro nerds, at the neuro nerds on Instagram. And with that, <laughs> and on that, that beautiful note. teen TBI first episode of Back to School edition. These neuro nerds are out. out.